y'all i'm always doing a video i'm always doing a video with so y'all i gotta get better at that i am not gonna start with so y'all i'm about to take my braids out because they reached their destination um i think i've had this in for about a week and a half probably two weeks probably a week and a half but anyway had i put on <clears throat> like a scarf or something that will last it longer but um uh, Y'all, my nose is running. I feel like a child. This is so childish. Um, oh, not trying to be childish. My bad for coming over here with my nose looking crazy. Y'all have to forgive me because I'm not re redoing this video. But, uh, I'm about to take my hair out and redo it. I'm going to let y'all see the brain style in which I put it right here where I'm going for, what I'm trying to achieve. And we're going to see if I can do it this time. I mean, I didn't try it before, but we're going to see. So here we go. disappeared for the rest of the clip for me doing my hair but I went on and finished it and I end up just taking it down in some areas and redoing it um I will put in a picture of exactly how it came out or you can kind of see exactly how it came out but just trust the process y'all because uh yeah I didn't like how it was at first but she don't love me she too scary I always fun like Jackie Brown. Yeah, you <laughs> I wanna love a shit too down. Will you be my leading lady? I want 
So I don't know about y'all, but Nautilus Spray seemed to have been the hardest new trade that I've learned how to do a new hobby. Like I did not understand how to add hair in and I finally got it after numerous of times of trying to figure it out. Self. See me in the mirror, I duck myself. No need much, I'm from far away. Well. I've been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We gone for a year, only gone like once. Life moves fast, we do what we want. Got this side, but what I want. Hope you know what you want. I don't know. You play that. Cream butter beats like all day. No, my mom, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mom, got the New York to show. Yeah, I ain't talking about the whole entire video. But I have a question for you. If you do braids or whatever, like, what do you use? As for them on your braid and your parting. Like right now, I did have Blue Magic starting. And then I decided to, I mean, I was running out. So, of course, I started to use Carol's daughter, Mimosa Hair Honey. Um, to kind of give me, just to help my hair blend in with this hair. I'm sure some people use that shiny jam, but that stuff be kind of sticky going all the way in. Like, going all the way down the braid, rather. So, put in the comments what you use if you do braids and like when I get to this part I add another piece of hair because I want I want the braids a bit longer you know what I'll wait hold on I'll wait I'll get a little further down and then i add the hair in y'all not this braids was the hardest the hardest thing to learn how to do like it takes some patience the very first time I did not this braids y'all I was like I did one row in the back of my head <clears throat> no I'm not doing this no more like, this takes forever. People like, nah, this braids are so fast. You don't use a lot of hair. Girl, I use the same amount of hair. What are you doing different? Tell me. And the thing is, like, I have a friend, and she do perfect now this braids. I can't talk about her doing that. But so I asked her for some pro tips. Come to find out, we talk about how we braid, right? And she underhand braid, and I overhand braid, or whatever. It was opposite. Whichever way, I don't know what I braid like. Like, when I grab my hair, I do differently. And when I do go down, it's uh, different. So, I think she do the way I'm doing right now. All the way from the root, and I can't. I can't do that. But um anyways, I'm gonna get back into speaking this video and y'all gonna see like the end result and me slip these edges out. Cause y'all Pinterest made me do this hairstyle and I absolutely love it. Minus the part where I was rushing and I didn't do the back exactly how the other people did. I mean it would have been beautiful to do that, but I don't think I'm gonna redo that part. I'm gonna show y'all what the back looks like and I may crochet some of this uh deep bulk hair in once I seal the ends. I think that was a mistake I made before. Y'all where I put this curly hair in and I dipped it and the hair tangled up so bad where I had to cut it all off. So I'm gonna find a way to pin the curly horns up, dip the hair. And I might end up doing like curls on the end of this hair. It just depends on um, what my thought process is when I finish. And yeah, y'all probably noticed that I had different curls on now. And it's because I did my hair, and I went to the pool, rest of the day, then came back and like, mm, I don't like this side, so that's why I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing from the jump. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And it looks the freak good. So, anyway, y'all. I'm going to speed back up my video. And I'm going to make two braids out of this part right here. And it's going to be dead on it. Okay? I'm going to use the hair. So I was just taking the hair down because I didn't like, of course, I didn't like that side. So I'm taking the hair down and I'm going to redo it. You guys are braiding your hair. To me, it's like a mind game. Especially, I'm like trying to figure out how to make my brain do what my hands need to be doing. And sometimes it's just overthinking. I'm trying to put the hair under. I'm trying to do an under braid on the side going, going down. And it don't seem like it's coming to my advantage. But we're going to watch and see and see where it comes out to be.
Y'all had to bear with me because I was making some crazy tail faces when I was in here trying to hold the hair and not let it be apart when I was adding the hair in. So I was holding it by my nose, my mouth, under my chin. I was just trying to get it in, basically. So we are finishing up <clears throat> and I'm going to most likely dip this hair like I said earlier but I'm going to take all these deep wave pieces of hair and I'm going to pull them up because I don't want to mess them up. And I'm probably going to ride the ends. I thought I wanted to do it straight but I'm going to ride the ends. So let me show y'all the finish look before I dip it and do all that. I'll show y'all a picture of what I asked for and what I got because what I got is what I did so I'm gonna get a little close up this is what the side look like on this side I'm just wait till I lay my hair down and this is what this I see once I lay my hair down it look okay <clears throat> this is what this side looks like and we can kind of put this hair down this way like so like this I didn't get to show y'all the back though so I'm gonna show y'all the back, it looks so much better once I like gel my edges down and some more stuff. But I was rushing when I did the back, so I didn't do it exactly like the picture. Hold on, let me check the back for y'all look at it. Hold on. So this is the back, but you will never be able to tell what it looks like. Because, who gonna see it? Who gonna know? I just put in a low ponytail like this. And be on my way so for the dipping part because I missed the hair the last time and I don't want to do it again so first of all we're gonna get all the little deep wave parts we're gonna separate them y'all pray for me have to do it little by little mm. Mm. I think that's cute oh, what oops I think that's really really cute though like I said, I gotta take these parts up. I don't know how. We're gonna get no wavy pieces. There go one right here. There go another one right there. Just gonna put y'all up here. Wrap y'all around here like this. Cause I ain't messing this hair up this time. <coughs> What I'm gonna do is braid, finish braiding the hair down, and I'm going to put the rods on the end, and we're gonna see how it goes.
And this is just a technique I use. I grab the hair, go this way, twist my wrist, twist my wrist. And just keep going until I get to the end. But I don't want them overlapping. So I'm gonna fix it by starting a little further up like that. So I got the hair all right up. <laughs> exactly how I went. And I took the pieces that I didn't want to get in the hot water up like the curly cores because I'm gonna try to mess it up again. It only, it only takes one time to learn. So yeah, I'm about to go dip in. I'm gonna let you watch what. Now my hand is down the towel. And I'm gonna sew with my right side. This is what we used to do now. We used to just put it in a pot. Yeah, I'm gonna come for me for this, but some people use a little um, tea kettle. I don't have it. Some people use a coffee mug. I don't want them. So this is what I got. So I left it in there like that. And I'm gonna do the rest of them. So, I guess it's been a long process, but we are completely done with the rods. I'm going to see how did it come out. Lord have mercy. What is going on with these ends? How did I do this? Okay. So, this is the curl. I'm going to bring y'all down a little bit. Hold on. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. I'm going to cut some of these ends off. And I'm just going to unravel it like that. I did one smaller one because I was curious to know how small the curl and how good the curl would look. And I absolutely love this small coil. Like, I wish I had more than one. I probably would have did all of them that way because this small one is just giving. I'm going to find some smaller ones and redo this because I love that little coil. That's just giving what I needed to give. So now that we've got everything, I'm just going to break them apart. And of course, I'm gonna take oops. I look like I'm gonna miss this hair again. It's over with the pins this time. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't want to mess them up this time, so. Why does it have being a right now? I'm gonna put some black gel on it. On this part. Final look, hold on. I got everything. Before we get to the final, final look, I'm gonna do my edges up real quick, y'all. Y'all see? So I got a couple things that's gonna set us up for success. I wish I had some of that other mousse, but I'm gonna use what I got. So we got some lot of body mousse, and we got some heating cool, I mean, whatever this is. This is like a thermal protector, but I'm not doing nothing with thermal protector. I like it because of the shine. So I'm gonna make this braid shine, shine bright like a diamond. And for your edges, we got Super Pro Afro Gel. And we have got to be, I gotta be the one you need. You got to have this, okay? So, first off, since I already had this loose in my hand, I might well slick. Do what I need to do here, so. Y'all, this is what I asked for. This is what I got. If you watched to the end of the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know, tell your friend, your sister, uncle, baby, daddy, mama, sister, grandma. If your auntie and grandma they don't sit in the house and they bored, put YouTube on. Let them see me. Like, why wouldn't you? Okay, so anyways, I put the black gel on there already, and I'm gonna follow it with this got to be, cause you gotta have it. You, you got to be. You gotta be a little more careful. 
Okay. So anyway, I got my edge brush. And I'm not sure what I want to do with my edges today. When I be swooping and duping it, baby, like, your edges be popping. That's what he said. He said my edges be popping. He don't pay attention to my head until my edges are popping. Like, how did people get so big? On edges, like, I've been doing edges since high school. I have to show y'all. I have to show y'all a picture of me with my edges because people started making this pop when I, I already had it popping, baby. It was already popping, dropping and locking. But y'all don't know nothing about that. That was back then. You know, I'm a curl and swoop this up. Swoop it up. I don't know why they got this in here. Maybe for you to tailor your edges the right way. Hold it down. It's holding down the floor. Maybe I should have swooped this one this way. Hold on. Okay. Okay. But since you don't want to lay down like that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we did right here, but you know what? I ain't going to leave it like that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we gotta make the other side match the other side because you don't want no crazy looking edges on one side. I mean, and yeah, the perfect edge on the other side. Because you will be falling off the edge. You'll be real dead. I ain't lying. These things look like waves, like waves in the ocean. This is new school. These new school edges right here, because first off, I've been doing this for a long time, but I never did the swooper doops. I used to just lay my hair down and been done with it. I'm gonna show y'all what I used to. I mean, I still do it sometimes. That was that was it. Just yeah, run it down there with that comb like that, like so, like that. That was it. Just but now we I don't know what kind of trend I'm popping on, but uh, hmm. I don't think I can get an edge out of that. I pulled that hair mighty tight, mighty taunt. So let's see how I got this. Okay, we're gonna pull it out. And go under like so like this. There we go. It just did by itself. Oh, you a bad edge. You a bad edge. You gonna push me over the edge. Cause baby. Oh. Some some I don't like. I don't, I don't think I like this one. We gotta get it together. There we go. It feels like I'm missing the edge, like right here. Some should be. Some should come out. Okay. I made some work. Because I couldn't grab a little bit of hair. There we go. Hey, look. You got to stay down. Stay down. So, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to go outside and show y'all the final look of my hair. Because I absolutely love it. Hold on. Maybe I can do it. Hold on. Let's bring you on down again. But, I absolutely love my hair. Like... You can do anything that you put your mind to. It's not exactly like the picture, but I still love it. And that's how the back look. And like I say, I can always, first off, first off, will y'all come for me? Let me get this kitchen together. Because y'all gonna think it's the bathroom. And we can't do that. So slick that up like that. But we can put it like this. But it's so long. I have to stand up on something for y'all to see how long it is. Or hold on, let me see. So it is pretty, pretty long. And I am five, five and a half, five, five. Anyways, y'all, I absolutely love how it came out. So see y'all in the next video. On this episode of what I asked for and what I got, it's finally right. Most times, people get what they don't ask for but that's why sometimes you gotta do it yourself it looks just like the picture that i put in the beginning of the video so some elegant braids for an elegant dress so thank you guys for watching to the very end and if you like that dress in the last clip Please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe because I do have an Amazon find for dresses and you wouldn't want to miss that video at all. See y'all.
Love is pain and pain is love, I know you Mama mad cause you talk to a thug, you think you Know my type but you ain't got no clue about 